Hello and welcome to my next coding session. Well, I need to recapitulate what have what was done previously. So let's first of course think about our design structure. I have here my class which uh, where I have two classes set model and XML reader and JDOM document creator. For people who are watching this for the first time, I will show you my architecture of my program which I writing. So let's recapitulate just. We have our XML reader, we have our JDOM no we have let me write it first um, so we have here XML reader and, J and JDOM creator JDOM creator in this class in another class we have a model which gets from the another class the JDOM document set set model set model so currently the flow is following the XML I am um, forget um, I forgot to create here a representation of file this is a representation of file let's look at it and right here just satellite point XML. So the flow of is following the XML reader and JDOM create a class reads from the satellite XML information. Uh, I mean he the this XML reader and JDOM create a class he loads the XML information from the satellite point XML and after that my set model class should call the XML reader and JDOM creator actually actually the flow is as, as following First of all, set model calls the XML reader class, and the XML reader class reads the satellite XML, and as a result, set model gets the JDOM document. So this is this is the flow. This is actually what I'm trying to tell you. Once again, the set model calls up the XML reader and JDOM creator. The XML reader and JDOM creator reads the XML file and respond back to the SAT model class with JDOM document. So this is actually the flow of what I'm doing. Now I have to take some sort of design consideration. Let's look firstly at satellites point XML and I'm all, uh, and I'm almost forgotten to tell for the people who are watching this video for the first time I'm developing this product this program uh, with the help of test driven development so I write my test first and then I write the code to cover the test so the set the satellites point XML it consists of a lot of information and I actually need to structure this information because let me quickly show you the code from which I am looking looking up the access uh, to the the parsing of the XML. So it is a different object currently which I'm showing you. And here when I just executed this is a XML 
parse a example how to parse the XML with JDOM library. And for me, it's very important to actually understand what my next move. And the next move will be like this. Let me back go back to the whiteboard. So the SAT model gets a JDOM document which represents in this case satellite XML or maybe I did I did misspell satellites XML. So can I can I probably I cannot this is bad. Can I delete it? Sometimes it does not go well, but it's okay. So this is can be actually deleted. Alright, satellites satellites XML. So the set model class consists of JDOM document. The JDOM document is a representation of satellite point XML. Now I think that it will be uh, that, that is uh, important to to my design as follows. I need to create from the sat model class. Let me just draw some things. Set model class. And I think that I will separate the information in, in the proper further models. Why you say? Um, this is be, this will be in very 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 important for my presentation layer which I will create later in the project development. So actually let me just first to draw what I want to tell you. So if you look up the satellite XML file and you if and if you look it up closely and you can find this file on the GitHub you see it it's structured as follows first of all the name satellites so there's this tag i think its name is element but sometimes i can be wrong with the xml definitions but you have here element set with the attribute name so and the child transpond transporter is like once again element with attribute frequency so the things with this is quite obvious. You can have the situation that you have more than one satellite in use. I mean, uh, for example, I know some people, or there are there, they are some people who can have configuration for more than two or three satellites at the uh, satellite dishes. So. I need to think about that this information should should be keep it in separate models. So actually I'm thinking about I'm I'm thinking about a following. I need to create another class which will be the pre the abstract uh, representation of the structure of this satellite XML. So let us look back. So probably it's like following. Let me put text. Each of these rep classes, uh, no, uh, this is not classes, it's, it's like objects. You should imagine three objects. Which SAT model creates, and I am actually using um, design pattern a factory. SAT model is a factory which 
creates three objects or more depending on the number of the satellites which he did read from the satellites point xml so i will say here i will set up here the text which will clearly say following um, set i mean uh, calculate calculate number of sets of satellites set satellite I can be misspelled wait 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 a second satellite okay we use just the name satellite calculate number of satellites and depending from the number of the satellites create the needed separate objects I mean separate uh, yeah separate objects but what should those uh, objects uh, consist of so you need so I need to say following to do to do that I need to think about how many or not how many what the next class should consist of and it's quite obvious um, let me draw something here so it will be class like this uh, there are no there probably no inheritance from set model set model is just a factory which which creates another uh, objects from the class type I will call it sat information so the next class will be like sat information it consists um, following things like for example name name of the satellite then you need to I won't mention not the full to full ex, uh, to full context uh, to full content of the file. I will I will just mention some of the names that you can understand what I mean. So it will consist the satellite name. It will consist the transponder list because you have many very very big amount of transponders per satellite so you have here structured set set and once again leg and position probably yeah, yeah position is very important so it will consist name flag and position name flag position transponder list This will be this will be the the class which I will do next in the next move. So once again, this is my design thinking. Sure, you will you will you feel you you think that maybe it's not so efficient. Why I cannot work directly with the JDOM in the in the sat model and read and write in the sat model class well i as i said earlier i am against of design um, first method i'm i think about design as you clearly see but i think if i sep separate this information I will be I will have the situation that I will have better consistency of my data structure because I have here this class this class consists of JDOM document uh, I call this set model in the sat information 
and I will just draw a line how I will do the calling. This is not any 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 relation currently. It's just an access access sign. So I access set model, and I'm getting from the JDOM model information, and I just move this information in my another class. So this class wouldn't consist any JDOM, any any further JDOM documents. I won't call the JDOM document from the class set model, but I would not create any further additional JDOM for this for this set information class. And let me draw, let me draw you once again what I actually tell you what actually happening. I have here I will have three classes currently. So let me just draw the things three I have here one two three so let me do let me do this in such way that this that you can comprehend this okay let me do this small I'm not an I'm not an artist I'm just a programmer so don't judge me <laughs> by the, what I'm drawing, but following, I have XML, XML reader and JDOM creator class, JDOM document creator. This is a utility class. How I can? This class read XML. Now. I have a special now I have here set model set model class which will provide an information how how many how many satellite satellites were were are in Satellite satellite point XML. So I would I would know how many satellites I have in the XML. And then after that in the next class in the next class I just I just what I need read read satellite read information read information about satellite so this class will consist an information all about what type uh, of satellite do I have how many transponders does this satellite have and so on and so on so it will be um, very precise and very the very concrete i mean it, th this class would display the information about satellite about one satellite which i have read from set model set model will consist of jdom let me jdom document and this will be needed for for the advent, advent, advancements, JDOM document. Okay, I will draw the lines. So, what such model do? He reads, he calls XML reader. The XML reader responds back with. JDOM document. This JDOM document will consist of information about all satellites which I have read from satellites point XML. And after that, uh, the set model class, he 
he counts the number of satellites which I have in satellites point XML and after that he creates he, he creates those um, he, cre he creates um, he creates another another objects from the class satellite information the satellite information I just forgot to to to, to give a, a name to the class satellite satellite information will consist will consist information about each about one satellite and that would uh, that would include all all data which represents a satellite so I think in this is probably the way how I will test drive my project next so it was a deciding decision to do that sure you can say is, is this efficient design because I access JDOM document which consists already the data which I need and I can probably do some data structure in set model but I have a strong wish to separate the data from 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 the model stuff it I think it is just just to for easy for easy of use because l later in the project I just when I need uh, information about detailed information about the satellite I just need to access to only one object which represents only one satellite and I don't need actually to access set model to to getting this information from the big heap of of of, of information which probably many people think to save in the set model but I will do better this granular granular <laughs> granularity for better understanding how to how to work with the data which I got so I think this is the way I will do my project next so let me go back to Eclipse and start to work with data this is example from another um, another project which I will use and let think about next test set model test and here I need to write another test so just doing that test void and what I need to think about so I need to read the amount of satellites which I got I need to check the amount of satellites which I got so in this simple test I just write following um, check amount of satellites I think I done good with the spelling maybe not I, I, <laughs> I'm not an English native speaker so some grammar for misspelling can happen so satellite satellite two L's ah okay one one T settle into into L's satellites satellite set to L E T E S satellites all right so this is what I got and expected results so I will just mm, another important thing do I work with primitive type or or I will ju just work with a wrapper type mm, I pick wrapper types mm, I just like to work with wrapper types so let's continue um, I have ex expectation 
expect expected result expected result is free because in my case I have free satellites but wait you say what if you have more than more than free satellites will will this test fail I sure it will fail but I don't need to think about this a lot because for the for when I have the case when I have more than three or, or four satellites I just write another test case and remember TDD is a, just a tool to test drive your test so in my case I have here a satellite Sirius Sirius Hotbird what have I have more Astra and that's it so only three only three satellites which in the list and what I should do next I should call the object uh, all right and let me just write what I wished to have so first of all I need my assert assert equals and there I just write here integer integer actual result and this just take some time so expected result actual result and then I have here checking checking amount of satellite checking amount of satellite so what I shall do I shall call up the set model uh, the set model object the set model object probably I need to look it even more read and set up document I uh, sure yeah I, I should make sure that I am yes so I need to l look so I need to call up in this way because I need to set up a set model first because I need to read the the path from the from the from the file I mean first I read the XML file and then only then when the JDOM document was created I I should work with with this document so not a problem at all I call on this another method which set model object would have probably I should think about this twice because ah I know it's not such I need to the it will get this method sorry that I'm stuttering but read and set up method the document would return boolean value let's think about this boolean yeah it's okay it it, it returns boolean value back so i just need to do it like that first i set up the set set model object and then i do the initialization actual result once again i call up set model after it was set up 
and then I just need to call um, now I need to think about proper naming about my method um, what sh should should it be I will say calculate amount calculate amount of satellite this should work and of course this test will fail because I do not have calculate amount of satellites mod method in the set model object in the set model class actually so what I need I need to create a method this is a public method and now interesting story happens so I should get the document and do I need to work this so what I'm actually I need to count I need to count I need to count in, in the JDOM document the amount of names oh this will be very interesting so what I should count sat name if the sat name attribute is not is not now then that means that I have that I have found that I have so I'm just thinking about the algorithm which I will should create to calculate the amount of satellites which I have got in my JDOM document so Okay, that quite can be challenging, but not for me. Let's put it back. Okay, first of all, here in this part of code, I use a primitive type, and I will say set amount set uh, int amount of sets zero. Now I need to loop it through and I need to I need one example how to loop through this JDOM document. Okay, let, let me let me just I need to understand fully another example. This is another project. Uh, let me just do the following. Copy this, yes. Okay, and I need just to let me do this like this. So what I'm actually doing, I looking up an example how to parse an XML right now. And now I have here an example, not a not a pet not a not, not pet employees XML. So I have here an example. Let me put this console to the right. So let me quickly switch to my. So I have here. Uh, this is not sufficient. Okay. So you see, this is this is what it show uh, to us. So probably. The proper way will be to parse it in the for each loop. I need to parse it in the for each loop. This loops uh, goes so long because it goes to the end. So I parse it through this uh, loop. 
and I'm looking the, for the attribute and the attribute should be in my case uh, let me think about it should have I think the name is a proper value but I'm not sure let me think it through aha okay so it means that I should I should look look up for the element for the element set but for the attribute name and if this name attribute is not a zero is not a null then I have my satellite low let's okay let's um, let's do it like in, in the example I don't need the creation because I already I already I already uh, I have already already what I need so the JDOM document is already created this getting you from the XML XML read of uh, class but we need to do here like like here okay so so I'm actually think about how they doing the stuff wait a second get root element they're getting the root but I do not need to I'm I'm already have I am or already having the element which I need to work for. So element is a JDOM JDOM class. Alright. Amp elements. I know I have more than one elements. And it should be an employee. So if you puzzled what I'm actually doing, I'm looking in an example to understand how to work with the JDOM document. So now it's obvious. Now it's obvious what I should what I should have what I should do. So let me copy this line in our class. So code reuse is nothing bad. If you can use, reuse the code from another project, it's not uh, it's always not bad style to programming. This was a misspelling failure. So why it have a problem here? Ah, okay. Try and catch. Almost forgotten. <laughs> Just need to fix my fix my fix my test. Right now it should it should work actual result. All right, so some simple stuff, and here at model we are preparing to to parse our JDOM document. Sure, we need. Uh, Add to do an import JDOM doc uh, JDOM doc where well, have it is JDOM doc JDOM doc okay it's J user use DOM parser at file name JDOM doc and what I'm getting an element this will return the root element for this document and JDOM document ah okay but we have our JDOM document we don't need this we don't we just need to call our JDOM document so not a problem at all this get and just and then I just think ah set JDOM document get Uh, 
let's look up get sat jdom document and getting root from this and voila it's working next pa next thing will be let me think clearly so next thing will be do to do we done this command uh, now now what I have here list element um, okay so so I need uh, to work with uh, some sort of data structure in this case and I use generics and I'm getting so I will just copy this line and redo for our example so we are getting lists of elements expect we are actually expecting that this list consists of elements and of course we have not an employee as a root employee employee but we have another another case in our case we have a, a set a set i mean the satellite so If we have in, if we have thing like that, we have a set. Uh, this set is uh, very important. So in the example, so he used. There is another funny thing about this JDOM library. So. He uses representation to to go through. Do I need this list? Do I need this? Do I need this currently? This command. Actually, I don't. Actually, actually, I don't need it because I do not wish to set up right in my class so I actually don't need this expression I mean assignment so I just need to go through my amp element so I just need to go through my JDOM document and find out find out if do I have do I have a satellite or not? So let me. Oh, didn't didn't copy it. So here in this example they are just setting up, but I don't need setting up. I need to to get a value. I just I just need to get to get the value. So I just need to copy this for each line. And put it to my. Wait, can I paste paste? Alright, this is not fucking well. Sometimes I'm getting such thing, strange things and cannot. I cannot delete it. Maybe when I save, can I delete it? Oh. <laughs> Let me pause. I have some technical difficulties. Let me pause. Uh, where's my program? So strange things happens. I use wireless keyboard, and if I have some interference in my signal from my keyboard, there are sometimes a problem. So we are. We are in the process in the process to work with our JDOM document. We got our we got our childrens childrens uh, childrens in our case are satellites. 
because like here in the example if you clearly see what I mean I mean following I need to read from the root all of the children children's in this case the children's are employee and in my case I have children's which is which having the name set this is name is attribute so let me just go back and here I can work work it through so I need to call to call up each of the elements and let me just prepare some value string set name and this would be like this so I have a string with a according the sat name and here I just need to um, let me think what I have need where what what should should be needed I need to to write no 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 <laughs> sorry I'm just overwhelmed by my recent work with spring and it's, <laughs> it's getting through me through my thinking process um so in the amp element I need to get something from it let me just clearly think uh, okay see what he is doing all right so let me just first of all look at up what we have here get attribute so we need to get some attribute so we should get some attribute get attribute value ah right so get attribute value and the attribute value in our case not this and the attribute value should be the name this is the attribute and and the value is in our case this long string line and I will just here like do like that so what what he giving back to us it giving back to us a string this is okay and we need to save this in in the we, we need to assign the value which we're getting and we need to evaluate do we have a um, do we have some result or not so in this case I will use not um, equals with actually let me think through so I need to check if my string is not null so um, this is not not what I needed is empty do I have a match? What? So it measuring. It's measuring. Returns true if and only if length is zero. So it checks checks up the length of the string which I'm getting. So I will probably here write. So if it is, let me look it up again, <laughs> that I understand what I'm actually think wish to do. Returns true and only if length is zero. So if is if it is empty, it means the length is zero. 
so if it's not equal if it is let me just ah I just, just this is just boolean oh right so so if, if it if it is false it means I got something then I assigned then I calculate my amounts of sets and else what should happen next and if I found out that I have let's just think it through so so getting the boolean expression when the length of the string is zero so if it if, if it getting false I know I have something and I and I calculate the amount in other cases I should do nothing and this is this is okay I should actually do nothing in this case and these two lines I need just to let me let me rethink what I'm actually trying to do so at the end of the evaluation I, I should return some value return amounts of set So this is what I'm actually producing and let's just quickly save it and look at our method where it have a problem variable actual result why it cannot be result with a hmm. strange 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 Maybe if I just close it. Some at some point I think I I know what I have where I have problem. I think I think I will do better job if I initialize this value. And of course, I don't want, I don't need this thing. So this was just in a improper way to initialize some stuff. So, anyway, this is what I'm actually doing. And right now, this should work. Our sat model. And of course, let's just let's just pass the test before I do something other. This is very important. So I just call up our test and just look at at result. Ah, run. We did. We did pass it. Great. Four zero. So now we need to verify. So I just delete delete this line. Uh, let me let me do other stuff let me delete the sat the whole the whole part i need, i wish that just just for testing purposes and now it's didn't pass so it's 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 you see that is working as I expect just go back let test us the stuff pass so it's one it's a, so it's great and <clears throat> so at this point 
we know how many satellites we get from our XML file. This is actually great. It's cool, but I need to refactor the code because I don't like it how it's structured and I think what I should do next I just need to extract this actually this is a evaluate evaluation evaluation I will say and calculation evaluation and calculation and I would rename this method to uh, another another word which I need to look up um, dictionary. It will be t it will be. I just leave the name, but I extract this as a method. So I just need to extract it, refactor extract method, and this method would name would have a name evaluate evaluate. Actually, I'm making sure that I have no that all of my satellites do have something in the attribute name. So check check name of check names of sets satellites. I just would use short form check name of satellites and calculate amount. And this is probably not such good name for this method, but anyway, I will do this, and this test should should pass. So let me just look look it up, uh, and I don't need this line. Do I need this line? No, I don't need this line. And let me just do the assignment. All right, so I'm just in the in the phase of the refactoring of my code. And I think I just leave leave it like that. It's it's all right. So just leave just leave it like that. So. Let me do the test. It's pass. So simple like that. Refactoring was never never easy <laughs> in the real world applications, uh, especially commercial applications with legacy code. But here it's clearly a very simple history. So. I know I need to save this value, the amount of satellites in my set model. So I just need to check it up if my saving operation working. So what I do next, test, void, <coughs> and uh, Oh, I almost at, at one hour. Um, I will write this method. This can be can be very easily tested. So, what should I do next? I just need to rethink about the name of my method. Um, how I should name it? Check. Check if the check if the amount check check if the amount of 
satellites satellites is is okay not so good naming convention but <clears throat> this is what I'm actually doing right now so once again I need to do I need to set up my set model object I need to I'm actually what I'm actually trying to verify that I can save I know I can calculate but I need to save into my set model object set model class uh, the amount of satellites which I'm cal did, did calculated so um, I have here integer integer and I write here expected result is free and integer actual result signing this zero it's almost it's almost the same code but but it is important anyway to do that checking if satellite model did save amount of satellites so here we just need to do following so we read and set up DOM document we calculate the amount of satellites and then and then we need to get amount of of sets mm. I will just call sets the short form or, or better to say to stay convenient satellite satellites get amount of satellites just simple getter and this will be probably in the actual result I should assign it to the actual result and I just need to copy this I just need to go to our set model I need to write here private things like that amount of satellites uh, and I need set on getter getter on setter and this is what I'm actually trying to do so so now I have this thing this probably will fail uh, why it will fail uh, because I do not set up basically I do not set up I do not set up I do not call the setting up of my I do not call it up here so I need to in order in order that that it will work I need to let just let just show you that my my test won't work my test won't work right now so I've written working uh, you see it did fail because it was null I need to set up I need to set it up when I call in the method calculate amount of satellites and I do like this this set 
amount of satellites and I give the amount of satellites amount of sets and, at, and of course this oh do this work um, it expect uh, integer all right let's try it out I don't think that it will work but Automatically rapid value, maybe. Ah, oh, let me let me execute all of the test. Let me do execute all of the test. Pass. So I know how many satellites do I create. Some people say why I doing such detailed test. This is my way to doing uh, to develop the stuff. I'm sure later later when I need when I <laughs> later when I need to test with other amounts, I just need to write another test. But I think I'm I'm on the right path and I'm getting through. So. I probably end this session. We did wrote some code. Our set model is working. Let me just execute at the end our POM XML. It should show us the information that we're passing all of our tests. Okay, and you see clearly that we're passing all of our tests. So, the next move will be... Um, the next move will be to write satellite information, but I will do this in the next session. So, stay tuned, and see you later then. Thank you.